Forty years ago, a Russian doctor by the name of Gavriel Belizarov developed a technique of lengthening bone. This technique involves first breaking the bone and then allowing it to heal partially. But before the bone heals completely, the two broken ends are pulled apart slightly in small increments every day until the desired lengthening has been achieved. Today, this technique can be predictably applied to our facial bones. This young man felt that his lower jaw is too short and that gives him a rather immature appearance. The short lower jaw also resulted in his lower incisors biting on his palate instead of against the upper incisors. He opted to have distraction of genesis to lengthen his jaw. The bone is cut and the distraction device is anchored onto both sides of the cut. The device is then turned daily to lengthen the jaw. A cut was made on the bone on each side and a distraction device placed across the cut. Each day the device is adjusted to lengthen the jaw by 1mm and after 7 days the jaw was lengthened by 7mm. And these are the before and after pictures. We have patients as young as teenagers who have a developmental growth abnormality with the, the jaw maybe longer, shorter and we can do corrective surgery to um, harmonize the face so to speak and all the way to the, the more mature members of the public who may have lost some teeth or may have um, shrunken jaw due to aging and atrophy and we can rebuild the jaws and the teeth using advanced technologies. Hi, I'm Dr. S.L. Chan from Aesthetic and Reconstructive Jaw Surgery here in Mount Elizabeth Medical Center.